Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing Biofusion Self Tanning Lotion. Um, I'll be giving you my final rating of this self tanner at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And to start off, the price of this self tanner, this one's very cheap. It's kind of priced like a drugstore self tanner, even though it's not. It's $10.80 per bottle. This is a six ounce bottle, so that's very, very cheap as far as self tanners go. And this is a very thick lotion. The guide isn't as dark as m m most self tanners out there. It's kind of like a caramel colored guide. Um, to be honest, it's not the most appealing color coming out and you can't really see it as you apply it to your skin. Um, I know a lot of you are used to that dark brown guide. That's not this. It's kind of like a caramely colored brown. And the smell, it smells really bad. I don't like the smell of it at all. It has a citrus smell mixed with the DHA, but it doesn't smell clean or refreshing at all um, or tropical. That's how I like my self tanners to smell. This one just smells bad. And by the next morning, it didn't, didn't get any better. The smell actually got a little bit worse. So I don't like the smell of this one. Applying it, um, even though it doesn't have a dark guide, I still used a tanning mitt. And um, the, the texture is very thick. So it kind of just glides over your skin. It's very slick feeling, but it does take some elbow grease to really rub the product into your skin. When I was done applying it, I kind of had a orangey caramel colored hue to my body, but I didn't look bronze or tan yet. Um, so the guide became a little more apparent as I applied it, but it wasn't never super dark. The drying time, this one dry, took a while to dry. It took 40 minutes to dry because I think it is a thicker lotion, that's why and it stayed sticky on my skin while it dried. So I was very uncomfortable. I didn't like that feeling at all. Um, it didn't stain my clothes though, so that's a plus. Um, the results of this one, so the results were just okay. Kind of like everything about this self tanner is just okay. Nothing really wowed me, nothing really stood out. Um, to me, it's just everything about this was pretty average, including the tan I got. I got a light to medium tan. It was kind of a little bit of a yellowy hue on my skin and I had a few very small streaks on my upper body. Thankfully, no one else would notice those streaks besides myself. Um, but the tan was just okay. It wasn't dark enough for me. To me, this is more of a gradual self tanner, but even then, I think there are better gradual self tanners out there. But if you are in a bind and only have access to this self tanner, it'll definitely get you by. It's usable but just not my favorite color. Um, my tan lasted about three days and it faded pretty evenly. Um, I just got a few small dry patches on my upper body. Nothing too crazy, but it, is no it was noticeable to me. Um, men, I don't necessarily think you'll love this self tanner. Like I mentioned, I think there are better ones out there. This one's just kind of average. Nothing really stood out. So that brings me to my rating of this self tanner, which is 2.25 out of five stars. Not quite average, but almost there. Um, like I mentioned, it'll get you by if you absolutely need to, but this wouldn't be my first choice. Um, I wanna know if you guys have tried this self tanner, make sure to comment below. Also, if you have a new self tanner that you want me to try, I'll make sure to put that on my list. Comment below with the name of that one that you want me to try. And for more information on this self tanner and many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.